We are at the moment in a facility of a Podrinja identification project, which is a project that deals only with the identifications of Srebrenica victims, people who have gone missing in July 1995 in Srebrenica events. And what are we looking at right now? What are these? Right now, uh, uh, we're looking at the body bags, which uh, contains the human remains of the victims of Srebrenica events. Uh, we, uh, with purpose, we call them cases, mm -hmm. because all of these remains, uh, which are in the, these body bags, have been uh, uh, excavated from various hundreds of different uh, locations, both primary but also secondary, even tertiary grave sites. So uh, the remains of uh, Srebrenica victims were scattered in different, hundreds of different mm -hmm. locations. So uh, their remains were not found as always complete body, but their remains were found from different locations, from secondary grave sites. So we would have one arm in one site, uh, the other arm in another site, part of torso, for instance, in the third site. So the DNA, bone-to-bone uh, -bone samples, would back together, would be, uh, link back together these remains, and uh, we call it reassociation. How many bags are in this facility? At the moment, about uh, 1,900. Mm -hmm. And how many uh, people have you identified as being killed at Srebrenica? So far, uh, I uh, will just give you... Uh, uh, by the DNA by the DNA matches, we mm. have known for uh, more than 6,600 names for Srebrenica uh, mm -hmm. victims, but officially identified, uh, which it means that we already uh, had a meeting with the family members where the family members accepted the identification. Officially, we do have 5,601 identified persons mm -hmm. because. Um, this distinguish between 6,600, 5,000, and 600 are usually the cases where the, the, where the remains were very partial. So family members decided not even to, uh, to finalize the identification, uh, but to wait until we find the missing part. But you think about 8,000 people at least were killed at Srebrenica, right? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. By our records, by the DNA references of the family members, we do have uh, records for uh, more than 7,000. Uh, well, there are some of the numbers by the associations of uh, the families, women of Srebrenica. They say it's between 8,000 and 10,000 people that has been missing. But let's stick to the facts, what we do really have mm -hmm. about the DNA. That's what we actually do here, okay. forensic. Now, what are these um, packages up here? Yeah, and these uh, are the paper bags mm -hmm. that contains clothing that was found associated with the hum human remains. Every, uh, as you can see, every paper bag has labels on the bottom or on the bag because these labels are the same labels as uh, the 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 the. Uh, labels uh, that represents the cases that were found inside of the mm -hmm. gravesite because these uh, clothing was found associated with the human remains. Whether the remains were found in the bo in the clothing or the clothing was wa was found near uh, these uh, remains. Uh, uh, anyway, as soon as we have the remains from the gravesite, our morgue technicians need to wash this clothing, uh, dry it out, and then uh, put them in these paper bags because we keep it in this way, in this cold uh, environment. Uh, uh, we keep it from ruthless as long as possible. Mm -hmm. The clothing is not a crucial element for us, for the identification, mm -hmm. but can be still very helpful. Uh, because uh, even if the family members can recognize the clothing, that is all one evidence more that we do have mm -hmm. a DNA, right. uh, that, that we do have positive identification.